another episode of Let's Learn Maths with Teacher Ninette. In this episode of our video, we will learn how to find the area by square centimeters and square meters. The aim of this video is for you to learn find the area of the shape by square centimeters and square meters. Area is the amount of space inside a given shape. We measure area in square centimeters. Square centimeters. Imagine each of these squares is 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. That means the area of each little square is 1 square centimeter, just like the blue square. Can you find the area of the green rectangle by counting the squares? The area of the green rectangle is 32 square centimeters. Can you find the area of the pink shape? By counting the squares, the area of the pink shape is 15 square centimeters. Strange shapes. Some shapes are difficult to count exactly because they don't fill up whole squares. The easy way to remember is to count the whole squares first. Add any square which fill half or more and ignore the squares which cover less than half the square. Have a gut at finding the area of these two shapes? Share your ideas with the class. Estimating Because we didn't know the exact area for the two previous sides, we made a guess. This is called an estimate. We didn't just randomly guess, though. We used our knowledge and skills and made an educated guess. What is the area of each figure? Let's count the full square first. Figure A has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So figure A 7 square meter. How about figure B? Let's count the full squares first. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have two halves that is equals to 1. Well, this one is 5, so the area of figure B is 5 square meters. Okay. How about figure C? Let's count the four squares. One, two, three, four, five. And I have two halves that is equal to one, six square meters. Which figure has the smallest area? You are correct. Figure B. Which figure has the greatest area? You are correct. Figure A. Which figure has an area 1 square meter less than figure A? If your answer is figure C, you are correct.
for this video class and I hope you learned something new about finding area. See you again next time. Bye!